here. These are going out for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. These are the birthdays between November 23rd and December 22nd. Fire Sign Sun Moon Rising Sagittarius. So this is a love reading. So you could be single, you could be in a relationship. And the messages are coming for my Sagittarius. So I'm going to pull from a few decks to see if I can get a really good reading for everybody today. So <clears throat> let's get into it, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what are they displaying towards this relationship? My spirits, my guides, my angels, please give me clear answers, clear guidance into the messages I need to provide for my Sagittarius. What is Sagittarius feeling for this person? What is Sagittarius feeling for this person? What are their movements towards them? And what do they, how do they see this lover of theirs? Beautiful. Thank you. My angels, my guides, can I please get some messages, some information on who the Sagittarius lover is? Who is this energy? Can I get some clarity? My spirits, my guides. Can I get some insight, my spirits, my angels, my guides, on how this person is feeling towards my Sagittarius. Okay. Thank you, my spirits, my guides. Can I please get some insight into the movement that's going to be happening for this connection. Oh, one wants to come out. Thank you. For the overall feel of this combination of energies here, we have the Ace of Swords. Lovely. Okay. So Sagittarius, you're coming in here with the energy of the Hierophant. This is no nonsense. This is inner knowledge, self-work, self-love. In regards to how you feel about the general idea of love and a partner, you have the King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Wands. You've been waiting. You've put yourself in, um, you know, into work. And I see Capricorn energy here, by the way. Um, you're really over this period of being alone. You want someone, and it shows up here in a second, that you, you want someone. You want a partner. You want to feel fulfilled and it's just no matter all these scenes that are describing your feelings about love in general, I mean, it screams loneliness. This screams I'm not understood. I just want someone to share everything with. I, I don't like sleeping alone. Some of you probably really hate that. And um, you just want to see what's out there. You know, you really are... At getting to a point in your life, Sagittarius, where, you know, the games is not fun anymore. The idea is fun of love, but the whole love games thing, you're not, 
you're, you've, you're maturing past that. And for how you see this person, your love interest here, there's, well, you got the nine of wands, you got the four of wands, the 11, 11 card, and then you have the three of pentacles. So this is telling me a lot about your feelings and it's really showing some, some insecurities here, which is always what shows up um, for most people in this row. You're seeing them as somebody who's got some walls up. They are not necessarily providing you the kind of love and attention and affection um, that maybe you were used to in a past relationship or that you just are looking for. And it's not like their walls are so up so much so that you can't see a future with them because you do. You see happy ever after possible with this person. And you know, a great union, a great match, match made in heaven, twin flame energy. That's what you're seeing with this person. This is, this is what you are seeing about them. I also see here, you have the three of pentacles. This is the, the card of notices. This is somebody that you see not communicating to you the way that you want them to. They are, um, maybe texting you a lot, calling you some sort of written communication um or through friends like hearing about oh how are they doing whatever um but you're you're really looking for this i feel a physical closeness to somebody like um you know it looks like that's what you want and it's not that you can't live without somebody you've got you know you've got pain you've got money you've got stability you have grounded yourself you have a home you have a bed you have your stuff okay you don't need necessarily anybody but that's the thing you have everything else you just kind of want somebody there and you feel like this person is very guarded with their emotions very skeptical maybe of love in general they could just be somebody that is seeing you know you see them as maybe not even that interested maybe just viewing you from the sidelines like a spectator kind of vibe because you're not feeling the the public recognition of you guys being together you want more of that you want i mean you could live without that but i see here celebration with people i see here notice um in the public eye so i mean i feel as though you are seeing that you know, with them, that's something you would want. That's, it's part of that closeness that you're looking for. And the Hierophant here is, is just you, you knowing exactly what you want now. Like you, you're not guessing anymore. You have figured out exactly what you don't want and you know what you do want. And I do see that, that there is some hesitation in this whole situation because they're, they appear to have their walls up. And even though you do see happy ever after, you're seeking more. You're seeking more input. And I feel like you're probably, if I know you're willing to give this to that person. Um, but how much of it have you given? I, I don't know yet, but we will clarify. For your person here, I just want to show this image here. <clears throat> how you view them, how they view themselves, okay? crazy um it's obviously some sort of they feel very trapped pinned under um this person could possibly be in a relationship already very well could be it could be going through a divorce um or a bad breakup or just they are really 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 have gone through recently some really tough shit and i mean they're still hopeful for the future though i mean he's got his fingers crossed here you know, with his last breath, he, he would, you know, want more. An ambitious person, a strong-willed person, if you will. Um, for their feelings about love right now, they have, they are so hopeful. They have the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, and the Page of Wands. That's how they feel about love right now, just in general. And... It's telling me with the page of wands here that they're not, they're not coming in so hot. They're not coming in. And I mean, you see that too. You already see this. They're not coming in full speed ahead. They're coming in more level headed. And it's funny because you mirror this again in, in yours as well. This whole um, 
sense of divine knowledge and introspection. It shows up in the High Priestess and the Hierophant. You guys both have those major arcana cards pulling up in your um, love reading here. But they also have the Wheel of Fortune, which is Taurus energy, Leo energy. It's every energy, really. They are, like I said, so hopeful. This Wheel of Fortune is them seeing this world right now, the world of love, even though they've obviously been through something just miserable as, as could be. Um, you know, and they're scorned. They're bitter about it. They're hurt about it. They have the Wheel of Fortune on their side, which means they have divine timing at play. They have the right place, the right time, the right person energy. So that, and with the Page of Wands, like I said, they're not rushing in, but they are open to love, very open. The Wheel of Fortune is the open of possibilities. It is endless possibilities. They are definitely open to short-term, long-term, friends with benefits, whatever. They are open to opening their heart. It's just very guarded because, I mean, look what they are feeling right now about themselves. They feel defeated. They, yeah, they feel suspended in time a little bit, you know, like everything that goes along with grief and pain, you know, that that's what they're coming through right now. So there's a reason these guards are up. So for how they're viewing you, Sagittarius, um... You have the Eight of Wands, you have the Eight of Cups, and the Star. Now, that is, to me, super crazy, okay? I'll tell you why. These stars, yep, I thought so, eight points. You see this? Eight points. I'm not making this up, okay? Eight Cups, eight Wands, right? What does it mean? I think they find you very energetic. I think that they find you like a muse. You, not like you amuse them. You are a muse to their emotional side, to their logical weighing side as well. You bring them a lot of uh, questions and curiosities and you you interest them period um they definitely see you as something to gawk at you I and mean, then they think you're just you know a star like this is you to, in their eyes okay they do see that they see this feeling you have this seeking that partner they see it they see that you're you're out looking for something that you feel like you're missing they can see that and you have the moon and the sun here and this is the idea of revealing emotions that were once covered to confront them. They see that you're working on you. They see this. They see, they see you coming in though. They see, they see you coming in. And they also see that you, you're not playing around. Like you know what you want. They can see this, that you're on literally a mission. Okay. That you're a freaking star that you and this, this triple eight energy here, I suggest everyone to look into like triple eight angel meaning. Um, but I know that eight is a very divine number for many reasons. Um, but I'm curious here. But eight, eight may be very significant to them or eight may be very significant to you. They could be born in August. I doubt it. Maybe you guys met in August. Um... I don't know. Could also be that you guys met two years ago, um, you know, 24 months, and you get the triple eight there. It could be a lot of things, but look into the number eight, and I'll guarantee you find some sort of meaning. Maybe they asked you to go to an event on the eighth, or you know they're gonna be somewhere on the eighth. It's something about the eight, and it's screaming, and I'll when I clarify, hopefully Source will give me some answers about this. For the movement of your guys' relationship here, we are relationship, situationship. Um, we have the two of wands, the king of wands, and the fool. So I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I know people always think it's weird. But okay, there's a lot of sexual energy in here, like between the both of you. Um, it's just like 
phallic energy everywhere. <laughs> and I mean, <clears throat> it definitely shows up here. This is that about to go out for the night, coming in hot, becoming a fool in love kind of energy. This is the this is the movement. Like though, this is where. But I see this is here's this moment of should I just jump right on in? And I see this, you know energy of wanting to just go in, guns blazing, and and you know, get hot and bothered, you two. I see the energy there for that. I definitely see the want for it. More Leo energy, by the way. We have Pisces energy, Gemini, Libra. Taurus, like I said, we have Scorpio energy, Pisces energy, we have Capricorn energy. We have a lot of energy here. Um, but with the Fool card, the energy is saying that this is going to go in a really fun direction. Like it's going to take time at first, this whole wall situation here and this whole, you know, being alone this whole contemplating all that, you know, that's going to take place. It's going to continue for a little while. So you guys get your <laughs> shit together. And um, then it's going to be like hot and ridiculous. Like it's going to be them coming in swift, hot, fast, and leaving you both feeling like you got the world on a string. Um, and with the Ace of Swords energy here, again, this is... This is an offer of love. This is an offer of love, of wounded love. This is, hey, I've been hurt. I don't know if it's you or them, probably both of you. Hey, I've been hurt, but I'm still gonna give you what I got. I'll take the heart out of, or the sword out of my heart and hand it to you, willingly letting you destroy me if you could, if you want, fine. Just be my person, you know? That's how I'm feeling here. Let's get some, um, let's get some clarification cards here. What are we going to look at? Can I get some more information for Sagittarius and, and their role in this connection? My angels, my spirits. Oh, woo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are so appreciative for my Sagittarius. Love reading for my Sagittarius. Okay, you have adventure, potential, and truth. With this Wheel of Fortune, you've got the Star, the Hierophant, and the Fool. I can see this message being specifically directed towards you, Sagittarius. This is your advice here. This adventure... I'm not talking about a physical adventure here. We're talking about one of the heart, mind, and soul where you dig a little deeper and you come to understanding. And I think it's a lot about their pain that you're going to have to do some understanding as well as you have to come into terms with why you feel like you need someone in your life when you are totally capable of being alone. You need to find out why that is. That's an adventure because it will have a grand reward at the end. That's why it's an, an adventure. It's exciting. You will come upon discoveries of yourself, of your spiritual self and your true higher meaning, which is where you get potential. This is going to open the gate for this potential. Hurt people hurt people. And, and it's really hard to love others when you can't fully love yourself. It's very difficult. But don't fail to see the potential here. There is potential here. There is major arcana blessing the heck out of this. And lastly, we have truth here for your advice. And with them having the high priestess and you having the hierophant, this is not going to be some sort of situationship, relationship, whatever you're looking for. This is not going to be the one where you can play games, where you can lie to each other. You guys both have extremely intuitive feelings about honesty, 
about righteousness, about what's truly going on. You are not going to be able to fool each other. So stop. Don't try it. Have bliss in the growth that you can experience when you let go of that which isn't and just be. The ultimate truth is just to be yourself and be true in love. All right, my spirits, can I get some insight into my Sagittarius' love interest here? What messages they are going to be receiving this month? Yep. Ooh. Okay. They have action, change, and community. And I definitely see, I see it here. I see it here. Um, for the action here, you see them coming up here as the page of wands. That's like the no, that's like such lackluster energy. That's, that's barely energy. That's I wish I'm thinking about it. Maybe me, 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 me. They got to take action. They're going to come to that realization that they have to do that this month, that they're going to have to say something. They're going to come up to you. They're going to have to, you know, there's every action has an equal and opposite reaction. You got to do something though in order, or it's just, or it's just going to be, guess what? Potential. You have to see the potential. They got to make the move. You're not making the move. You've already made more than a move. I can tell that above the both, between the both of you, you're both interested. But I see you being the one who has said something, has, you know, they're, they're slow to it because they're super hurt still. They also have change. With the Wheel of Fortune in their reading and the change card and the High Priestess as well. I'm really feeling that they have been going on some sort of cycle, like they've been with a particular kind of person or keep going back to an ex, something that keeps putting them in this really unhappy situation. You know, maybe they depend on someone, whatever it is, it's not, it hasn't served them. We see that just in how they see themselves recently. And it's, and, and them coming in with this page of wands energy, this is so hesitation. This is taking the high priestess, that's taking the time to, to center yourself and divinely know what really is going on. But they need to change some cycle that they've been doing that gets them this hurt, that brings them back down to this place. Because I feel, I do feel like this is almost, an, I would say it's an, an, an air energy. This has got to be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, possible fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. But it comes down to the end community. And I think a lot of the problem is that whoever or whatever was in their past is connected to their social life. And that's part of the thing they're going to have to consider changing if they want to get out of this cycle of repeating it. Maybe it's that they hang out with the same people who hang out with their ex or, you know, they keep going to some sort of club or sport event where their ex is or something that reminds them of their ex. They need to get out of the routine that led them in pain. That's, they, have, they have to take action on that change. Like, it just says so. And, but you see this beautiful rainbow and these beautiful butterflies. This is a sign that if they take these steps, this action and change, and change the things around them, their atmosphere, their community, including people that care and love and are willing to fight for them and, and show that they care. You have this beautiful rainbow shining through and all this light and this beautiful lightness. It's going to feel like they finally got something off their back that's been there forever, forever. And it's gonna feel so good. All right, let's keep it going, guys. So, what is my Sagittarius? How does my Sagittarius view this person? their love interest how does Sagittarius view this love person their interest their lover their ideal mate here that they're thinking about oh almost oh we have one a 
Okay. We have self-knowledge, crime and punishment, and friendship. No scales to weigh your unknown treasure. Like the ocean is your God self, it remains forever undefiled. In the dew of little things, the heart finds its mourning friendship. You really are feeling some like anxiety. Wondering if this person's going to come around. Are you going to see them on your horizon? You're looking for them. And you're hoping, you know, that they're going to be there. And this is early morning. First thing you did when you woke up was see if they were coming for you. But it says self-knowledge. What do you feel? Do you feel like this person has interest for you? I see that they do. But you need to know that. Like the ocean is your God self, it remains forever undefiled. This is talking about the purity of keeping the past in the past. And not letting the past interfere with the now it is impossible to be fully present if you are constantly thinking about what was or what was for somebody else and this is saying the purest form of love the purest form of what is just and good in the terms of love comes from the the sacred moments together in the moment that's where love is formed. And this is really saying, you know, if you two are to get together, I feel like it's trying to say, keep it quiet, not like low key, like don't tell anybody, but cherish the time you guys are together alone. This person, it's going to mean a lot to them. I know it means a lot to you too. In the dew of little things, the heart finds its mourning. Not mourning as in sadness. Mourning as in good morning. Okay. Talks about friendship. And it says in the little things. In the dew, like the early morning, the, the small little, it's in the, the tiniest of the tiny particles on the little things that, that make you feel loved and happy. It's in those things that love in your heart finds a new opening, a new awakening, a new dawn, a new day. It finds its hope. It finds hope in the little things. Love does. So I think it's really saying in this, to dig deep, look inside yourself, and if you feel that they like you, then of course pursue what makes you happy. But don't do it because you feel like you need to be with somebody. Do it for the simple fact that love is beautiful. And maybe they show it in little ways, but is the little things that are going to really leave an impact anyways. What is this love interest feeling for my Sagittarius? What is on their mind when they are thinking about my Sagittarius? Ooh. Okay. We got a couple extra here. Oh, well, I see why. Oh, we dear, we do. Okay. We have... Quite a lot. They're feeling a lot about you. And wow. Okay. We have. Giving. <laughs> All you have shall someday be given. Love. Love is sufficient unto love. What was I just saying? The vision of one lends not its wings to another. Teaching. Self-knowledge. The soul walks upon all paths. Reason and passion. Exalt your reason to the height of passion. They want to throw themselves so deep in. They want so deep. They're hurt so bad, but they still want something so dang deep. They want it so deep and so passionate. I just want you to see these cards and how passionate they are. These are just... Swimming with appetite. 
of all forms. They want emotional love. They want sexual love. They want pure, fun, chemistry, romance love. They want forever till I die kind of love. They want shameless love, you know? Oh, that was yours. Um, so let me see here. They're feeling a lot. They realize even after being through this pain that they've been through that what they can give the most and only real thing you can give in the world anyways is your time and energy, your intention, your vibration. All you have so shall someday be given. One day you die, you go back to the earth. Your energy will retain and transform on the planet. So everything you have will someday be given. For what you do have the choice to give, they're choosing love. And it looks like for you, this is, I pulled up what they're thinking about with you. This is with you. And you have the love card. This is, I don't know if you look at her, she's just so... Uh, I'm waiting for my lover. Love is sufficient until it's good enough. Love is good enough because of love. Because despite what they've been through, they learned a lot from it. And they see how much you're seeking it. They want it too, baby. They want it too. The vision of one lends not its wings to another. This is saying it takes two to tango. They want partnership. This is the vision of one lends not its wings to another. You can't have one-sided love. You can't have one-sided help. You can't have, it doesn't work long-term that way. You can't just give, 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 or receive, receive, receive. And it has to be this equal give and take. And they are learning that. They're learning that right now. That's what's pushing them towards this. You, your presence has put this into their mind that, you know, this whole idea of, of being with someone again. Like you are powerful enough in how they feel about you that this pain that they're feeling, they're, they're willing to put it all on the line again for you. They're scared, but not scared enough to walk away at all. Self-knowledge, the soul walks upon all paths. They understand pain's a part of life. They want to go through all parts of life with someone. And they think that you would make a good partner there. They see you soul searching. They've seen you taking this path to find your, your emptiness that you feel. Even though you do give a lot. And they see that. They see how giving you are and nurturing you are. They know. It. And you guys have a great time together. You know. And they see the happiness that they bring you and that makes them happy right here proves it exalt your reason to the height of passion this is to really soak up that great feeling you get when you think about the person and they think about you Sagittarius this is just give way to everything all the baloney that you know second doubts the guessing let it go and just feel. And you're doing that for them. I feel like they have been in this cycle of pain for so long. And they see something in you that says, hey, this person's not just going to uh, stab you in the back. They're not going to leave you with all these swords in your back and these pains and these pins and needles feelings you get in your heart and soul. You know, because they're out looking for something they already give so freely. They see you as a giver, a searcher, somebody who needs a, a partner and they want to be that person. It's beautiful. Like this is such like, congratulations. All right. We're going to leave this because it's already been almost 40 minutes. <laughs> we're going to pull a uh, Oracle card here to see what animal is going to be guiding you and your love life for this month of November. <sighs> Black bear. Guardian. Who are you guarding, Sagittarius? Who are you guarding? Is it your heart? Is it them? 
Let's see. Gentle and wise protector, give me your confidence and power. Help me protect the ones I love. Awaken my intuition and guide me. Wow. They see you searching. They see you looking. I see all this late nights by yourself. I just want to be with somebody. I want happy ever after with somebody. I want all of it. I want it all. I'm tired of doing it all by myself, so Sagittarius. I want to take care of somebody. You possibly want kids. You could be getting at the point in your life where you're like, hey, I want kids. Or maybe more if you have any. Help me protect the ones I love awake in my intuition and guide me. What did I say about looking in and seeing how you feel about what they're thinking? Do you feel like they like you? Do you feel like this is pursuable? Do you feel like they are going to be that which makes you stop searching for love? Trust your intuition. It's the best way to protect yourself and others. It's amazing. Great, great, great spread. I hope this helped you, Sagittarius. Please like and subscribe. And if that subscription button is red, go ahead and click it. If there's a bell, go ahead and click that too. And then the up thumb. That helps me with the algorithm. That helps me with my confidence in doing these readings for you guys. It definitely motivates me to do it more when I know that you guys like the readings. It really does help me a lot. So please consider doing that. And I'm wishing you guys the best of blessings and the best of luck in this love situation that you got going on here. And it really could be something special. I really, really looking, looking like this month is going to be some, some beautiful energy for you. And I, I really hope this resonates with each and every one of you in some amazing way. And I will see you guys 